Hi everyone, Jeff here again from VIP Vision. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect and configure a very basic VIP Vision intercom system consisting of a single door station and a single room station. Now we're going to be connecting these two together using a straight through patch lead. Um, that is to say that we're not going to be connecting using any network switches or routers. So this is the most basic, the most simple way of connecting a VIP Vision intercom system. Um, Note, however, that it does have some limitations in the sense that you can't connect more than one door station or room station using this method. You also can't connect your VIP Vision intercom system to the internet for uh, remote viewing via the app or notifications of arrivals and things like that. It's worth noting that all of these, all this information is in the instruction manual that would have come with your room station or monitor. Um, it would have been included in the box there. If you're missing that, you can also find it on the VIP Vision website. Now, we're going to jump at the moment to section 2.1 of the manual. So I'm going to jump across to that now to show you what we're going to be doing. So as it describes, this configuration requires a length of Cat5 cable, the patch lead that we showed you earlier, uh, running between the indoor monitor and the door station. The following is required for this installation. 12 volt DC power for both the door station and indoor monitor, a Cat5 cable, i.e. the Cat5 cable that's going to be connecting the two units together. So we have our door station here and our indoor monitor or our room station on this side. Now, first step is, well, as you can see, I mean, we've got power connected to the door station directly and power connected to the indoor monitor directly. And we've got our Cat5, blue Cat5 cable running between the two units here. So we're gonna be doing this on a bench, but typically you would be installing these at their respective locations and connecting the devices together with the Cat5 cable first. You would then power the indoor monitor and door station with 12 volts DC, and that would be it. Everything would be done. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the bench now. So as mentioned earlier, here is our room station or monitor, and here is our door station. The first thing that we actually need to do, which is not really mentioned in that first section of the manual, is we need to connect our power and our Ethernet dongles that come with the units, our breakout points. Now, you'll notice on the back of the door station here that we don't actually have an Ethernet port or an Ethernet jack, but we do have space for our connector here. So that's the first thing that we're going to have to do. This applies to both the room station and the door station. We're going to start with the door station. So the small Ethernet connector, which can be slightly fiddly, to get in, connects on this side. And our power and ancillary connections go on the other side. They are a larger connector of the two. Just make sure that both are firmly seated before you go on. And now we're going to do the same with the room station. Again, we have our little breakout here for our Ethernet adapter, which is the more tricky of the two to get in typically. Just make sure that it's nice and firm. And our power and ancillary connections. Now, in this demo, we're not actually going to be using any of the ancillaries on uh, either of these two units, but if you were to connect the door strike, that would be connected to these ancillary units, ancillary cables on the VIP Vision door station side. So, the next thing that we need to do, as shown in the manual, is connect the blue Ethernet cable. So, we'll do that now. So, we're going to connect the Cat5 Ethernet cable to that side, and we'll do the same on the door station side. So as you can see, we have those three connected. Now, the only final thing that we, the final thing that we need to do here is actually just connect power. Now, as mentioned, we actually have 12 volts being supplied to each of these devices, and here we're going to have two separate 12 volt power supplies. You could use one 12 volt power supply if you wanted to, to power both, if that were more convenient. If you are supplied with a kit, then that will come together in the kit. You'll actually get two power supplies. Also in the kit is actually these little breakouts here, um, these little barrel jack or DC jack adapters. Um, if you did not purchase these units as a kit, you will need to purchase them separately. And they do, they do make the installation a little bit easier. Obviously, if you're setting this up on a wall, then this adapter will actually be at the power supply end, not at the monitor end or at the door station end. But we'll plug that together now. So 12 volts on each of these. Please make sure that it is 12 volts. Anything higher than that may damage 
your intercom system. Now, these will take a little while to boot up. Um, while they're doing that, I'll just show you again, just to show what's on the back of these here. So we've got our ancillary connections connected down here. Obviously, you could read down here to see what's on there. Um, our ethernet connection, and it's the same on the door station side. Right there. So shortly these will start to boot up. There we go. So you'll see the infrared light has just come on on the door station and the blue light slid up. And we've got a welcome screen on the room station. So we'll just wait for those two to boot. This is actually all the connection, everything that we need to do is already done at this point. We don't actually have to connect anything else. So the only thing that's remaining is configuration. Now, for this particular setup, that's actually all you need to do. You don't actually have to configure anything. These two devices will, after a period of about 15 minutes, um, recognize each other. And um, from that point, you'll be able to just push this button here, this blue button here, and have this unit ring. You'll notice at the moment that if I push it, it'll say that it's calling, but it won't actually go anywhere. Now, like I said, wait the 15 minutes for them to enroll or to speed things up a bit, what we can actually do is enter the project settings of this monitor here. And to enter the project settings, the default password is 68. So 888, 888, as I entered there and I tap OK. Um, actually, it's worth noting before, I, I'll just go into that again, to enter the project settings, I hold my finger down on the project settings button or on the setting section, and that will enter our project settings here. So again, six eights and okay. Now, to speed things up a bit, what I can actually do is turn the VTO status off, apply it and turn it back on and apply it. And then that will mean that everything will just start to work immediately. So I'm gonna turn that off and go okay. I'm going to turn it back on again and go OK. And now, if I jump back out and go back to home, and I push my door station button again, Calling now. Please wait a moment. everything is working as we would expect. And this is going to be a little bit feedback when I answer this, but... And it's working as we'd expect. The call has ended. Okay, so that was a very basic setup of how, as we mentioned, how to configure a, a very simple VIP Vision intercom system using a single door station and a single room station. Uh, please check other videos for more in-depth installations, so multiple room stations, multiple door stations, or if you're connecting to a router, that sort of thing. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions or comments below. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like these sorts of videos. And yeah, I hope this has been entertaining and useful. Thanks for watching.